It's truly heartbreaking to hear the testimonies from Anne, Maria, and Gina. But we have heard these testimonies over the last couple of years, especially on the east side. For the past two years, I've heard from countless families in my district trying to avoid foreclosure while the banks are losing their paperwork and not returning the phone calls. I want to commend people acting community together or PACT for diligently working to help these families throughout the city of San Jose in an effort to save their homes. As a city, we need to join in the effort to hold these banks accountable and be more responsive to the needs of their clients, especially those who are facing financial difficulty during one of the worst economies since the Great Depression. I'm glad that the, city of San, the San Jose City Council voted unanimously last year to ask the administration to consider a financial institution commitment to foreclosure mitigation as one of the several criteria used when evaluating which financial institutions the city of San Jose would use for short-term investment. The, C the city's social investment policy was a result of the city council listening to the community. No single bank was a target of this policy. However, many families in my district have told me repeatedly that Bank of America currently hold their home loans. The homeowners in my district need Bank of America to make a stronger effort to work with them. Homeowners are not asking Bank of America to buy back the bad loans like many of these sophisticated investors are asking B of A to do. The homeowners in my district want to keep their homes. They simply cannot pay the high adjusted rates of the Bank of America home loans. Now, with the entire country looking at these big banks, we have an opportunity to set the stage for a new approach to this crisis. The best way to do this is for banks to work with homeowners to provide sustainable loan modifications that start with reducing principal. We need to come out clearly on the side of families and communities, not the big banks who caused the crisis in the first place. We cannot afford another bailout situation where the largest banks receive hundreds of billions of taxpayer dollars and return and return to record probability while ordinary Americans were left out in the cold and footing the bill. We cannot allow this to happen again, not as a country and not as a city. So, so city by city, we will stand by our families and solve this crisis.